first thing I'm going to do, my God, wow. Uh, what, I, mean, I don't know, should I just do all the Rhode Island stuff, get Dell's Lemonade mm-hmm. and, uh, and all that? You know, I thought of that, but being here in Vegas, uh, after my shows, a lot of people from Rhode Island always always come to the shows out here, and they actually bring me all stuff that you can only get in Rhode Island, you know? Uh, New York System seasoning and Dell's <laughs> Lemonade and Auto Crack coffee milk and all that stuff. So I've got my Rhode Island fixes. Uh, pretty well under control, so it's mostly about seeing the people. Oh, that is awesome. I mean, and you went to URI, so you're going to be at the Ryan Center. Uh, are you going to be popping by campus and perhaps going into a couple classrooms or something before the show? Well, you know, avoiding going to class, uh, you know, I was good at it back then, so I feel like I should avoid going <laughs> to class now as well. Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, I, of course, jokes aside, I'm definitely looking forward to uh you know, visiting the campus. I've been back there a couple of times now. You know, I went back and did a show at, at Edwards Auditorium right out to celebrate the America's Got Talent win uh, two years ago. And then I came back again last year uh, because I wanted to uh, film some parts of my NBC special on the URI campus. So this time going back to celebrate the 125th anniversary for the school I'm so excited about that. So I can't wait. I try to make it back whenever I can. We're at the Ryan Center this time. It's going to be great. Well, because you're huge, obviously. I mean, let's face it, you're performing in Vegas. By the way, uh, I went to Vegas in June, and that Lynx Hotel is unbelievable. It's gorgeous. Yeah, they completely, uh, you know, it's, it's new. You know, it's all completely renovated, and uh, it's got so many cool things. It's got a great vibe to it. Uh, you know, you never know if you make the right choice on which which hotel to do a residency at. And uh especially if it's, if it's brand new. And it was at the time, two years ago, it was a, a property that was so new it hadn't proven itself yet. And boy, uh, you know, one year later, we just opened the show one year ago, uh, I just feel so excited about, about the choice to, to go with the link. And I think we're, we're growing together, you know. I think it was just a, an amazing choice. I love the theater there, and uh, I, I love the vibe. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, it seems like a definitely a uh, cool hotel. Do you get sick of seeing your face on billboards? You know, I thought I thought that that would blend into the white noise and something that I would become used to, and it really doesn't. It's still really <laughs> bizarre uh, to you know just be walking down the street and there's a bus goes by that y- your face is covering the whole side of the bus or a billboard or a taxi cab or, or even on the side of the link. It's just like. It feels like it's everywhere. It's a little overwhelming. It's like, oh, well, there I am. That's weird. You know, <laughs> I, I went to play blackjack the other day, and I went to sit at the table, and the table was my face, and I ended up playing blackjack on my own face. So I was like, this is just too strange. I gotta leave. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> did you leave because you lost, or did you leave because your face was on the table? <laughs> A little of both. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't let you uh, touch the cards. I'm assuming. I, I I did I did actually win. To be honest with you, I, I, not a big win, but I came out ahead, and and that's the other reason I said, you know, I gotta I gotta go. You know, you gotta gotta not get too into it. You gotta just you come up a little bit, and then you and then you walk away. Well, that's funny. Are you, what are we uh, going to expect on your show uh, when you're coming once again? The Ryan Center, February 11th, and tickets go again. Uh, on sale on Friday. What can we expect from the big show besides your perfection? Oh, thank you. Wow, you're really, you're really nice. Um, I'm really looking forward to get back so that I can just, you know, bring bring what I do to everybody. I want them to be able to see it in person. You know, it's been a while that uh, because I've been in Vegas for the past year, uh, it's been a while since people on, you know, on my hometown side of the world have only been able to see the stuff that I do on TV. So I would love to to bring it back so people can sort of experience it live. It's going to be sort of a, an emotional performance for me. I'm excited to get back. It's been a long time coming, and I had to, to work hard to make it happen because I'm doing so many shows out here, and Vegas is like, no, you can't leave. I'm like, look, i got to leave. i got to go do this one gig. <laughs> i got to go back to Rhode Island. Uh, so for me, it's, it's just exciting to be there mm-hmm. uh, with everybody. But you can expect my brand of magic, the, the magic brand that I sort of – uh, cultivated that that you've seen on the the TV for the past couple of years, and and to bring that back and to do it uh, in person with everybody, it, it's it's really about all the interactive stuff, and that's that's why I'm looking forward to be there so that I can do all the sort of interactive magic with everybody, mm-hmm. and uh, and 
see how it makes people feel. Hopefully it makes them laugh and have a good time. Oh, definitely. There's no doubt about that. You know, everyone, especially just to have you back, just to to be back in Rhode Island, everyone's going to go crazy uh, for you just because we're all so proud. I mean, you have your own show in Vegas. Did you find that it was a little harder to stay in one spot for so long and not travel as much? Or were you just cool because the hotel was so cool and it's different crowds every night, obviously? Yeah, it turns out that it's pretty amazing uh, not having to get on a plane every single day and travel 14 hours to get to a gig uh, day after day, which which takes a toll on you. Uh, so now, I you know the Link Hotel, I, I can actually see it right here from from my window. I, I live about 10 minutes uh, from there. So even in Rhode Island standards, that's not a long drive. <laughs> Great. So uh, just just going 10 minutes away to to get to work each day. Um, I, I really enjoy the commute. It, it feels like Rhode Island all over again. Um, so uh, I will admit, not quite the same, of course, <laughs> ever. Uh, but I, I do like that it, it's nice and close by instead of having to, uh, you know, constantly be on the road. So it, it's really cool to have a residency here. And, and you're right, the different audiences every night uh, really keeps it fresh. And, and our Las Vegas audiences have been amazing. And I have to tell you, uh, we do have people from Rhode Island at the show every single night. It's like I'm wondering when we're going to run out of people in the state because every single night I, I do a shout out, and we've done over oh I don't know 350 shows here already, and I and I give a shout out every night uh, to Rhode Island, and there are actually people that I don't know maybe they're making it up and they're <laughs> cheering as if they're from Rhode Island. Uh, so the support I continue to receive uh, from Rhodey has been truly uh, astounding. Um, but I'm going to continue giving to the, giving the shout outs until until we run out, until every last person from the state has come out to here to see the Vegas version of the show. But those who can't, I'm coming back to Rhode Island to do the show there. So I'm excited. Well, you know that's love because people in Rhode Island won't travel from Newport to Warwick. So the fact that they're in Vegas coming to see you, you know that you're a huge deal. <laughs> 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 very funny, very funny. <laughs> We're very excited to have you back at the Ryan Center, February 11th. Once again, tickets are going on sale on Friday. So, Matt, hey, don't be shy. Come on by 92 Pro FM when, if you have some time. But I know you're going to be very busy, but we're more than welcoming uh, to have you come on by. Sounds good. I hope I can come by. That would be great. I'm looking forward to that. All right. Sounds good, Matt. Best of luck. Uh, keep on killing it in Vegas, and we'll see you in February. Thanks a lot. See you soon.